Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Qt framework with Qt creator on your Mac operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So before installing Qt framework on your Mac operating system, there is a prerequisite which you need to fulfill and that is you need to have Xcode developer tools installed on your Mac operating system. So you can install Xcode developer tools in two ways. Let me show you both the ways. So the first way is when you go to the App Store, you can search for Xcode here. And then uh, the result which will appear here will be uh, this one, which is Xcode developer tools. And then here you will be able to see the download button for Xcode and uh, you will be able to install Xcode. But when you install Xcode using this method, it comes with all the other developer tools like uh, Xcode IDE and then the SDKs for developing Swift and other programming languages. So this will take around 7 to 8 GB of space on your uh, Mac operating system. The second way which I will recommend you if you haven't already installed Xcode via the App Store, then just for uh, running Qt uh, on your uh, Mac operating system. So you can use this command. So just uh, go to your Spotlight search and then search for Terminal. And then you can install Qt developer tools using this command, which is xcode-select space hyphen hyphen install. This is also going to install xcode select tool. And when you press enter, in my case, you can see I have already installed uh, this tool. So you can see it says command line tools are already installed. Use software update in the system to install the update. So it's already installed on my Mac operating system. If this uh, tool is not installed, when you run this command, you will see a pop-up window where you will be able to see the install button. And when you click on the install button, Xcode select tools will be installed on your Mac operating system. So I will recommend you to run this command uh, if you haven't installed Xcode using the App Store, right? So once Xcode developer tools are installed, let's start with the installation of the Qt. So for that, just open your favorite browser and search for Qt and the first link which will appear here will be from Qt.io. So we are going to click on this link. And here, you will be able to uh, see more information about Qt. We are going to click on this uh, button here, which says download dot try. And then here you will be able to see uh, different frameworks related to Qt. So here you can see uh, development framework and tools for Qt, and you will be able to see the download button. But we will be downloading the community version of uh, Qt, which is the open source version also. So you don't need to click on any of these button. You need to search for the section which says open source user, right? So we just want to learn Qt using Qt creator and other uh, Qt SDKs. And this open source tool is enough for that. We are going to click on this link which says download the open source and then when you scroll down here a little, here you will be able to see some information about open source usage obligation, contribution via open source. And then when you scroll down at the very bottom, you will be able to see this button which says uh, download the Qt online installer. So I'm going to click on this uh, link. And then here you can see uh, the Qt installation button for Mac OS, Windows and Linux. We are going to click on this button which says uh, Qt online installer for Mac OS which will start the download of this uh, DMG file. So I'm going to click on this DMG file and then let me minimize my browser. So this is the DMG file and here you just need to click on this uh, installer. So I'm going to click on this installer here which is going to start the installation process. So here in order to install the community version of Qt, you need to have the Qt account. So if you don't have the Qt account, you can click on the sign up button here and then uh, 
you need to provide uh, your email ID and uh, password and you can create the Qt account. I already have a Qt account so I'm going to log in with my Qt account. And once I'm logged in with my Qt account, you will be able to see this Qt open source obligation. I'm going to click on I have read and agree uh, to the terms and conditions. And then uh, if you are uh, from some company, you can give the, your company name. I just want to uh, use Qt as an individual. So I'm going to check this checkbox which says I'm an individual and do not use Qt for any company. And then click on next. And then it says, welcome to open source Qt setup. Click on next. And it's going to fetch all the information. And here it says, you need to install Xcode and set up Xcode command line tools. Download from here. So I'm going to click on OK here. Because I have already downloaded the Xcode developer tools. So I can move to the next uh, step. Here on the next window, you can see contribute to Qt development. I'm going to click on this option here, which says disable sending any user's statistics to Qt creator and then click on next. Here you have a few options. First one is custom installation, user selectable packages, host platform uh, license restriction apply. I just want to install Qt for desktop development. So I'm going to click on this option, which says Qt 6.6 .6 for desktop development. And I don't want to uh, download and install Qt Design Studio or I don't want to install Qt Android for automotive. If you want to use this Qt for any other purposes like uh, Qt Android automotive development or Qt mobile development, you have these checkboxes. So just check these checkboxes if you want to install them. For my case, I only want uh, to use Qt for desktop development. So I'm going to choose this uh, option only and then click on next. On the next window, you have different license terms and conditions for different tools like CMake, Ninja and Qt installer LG. PL license. I'm going to click on this checkbox, which says I have read and agreed to the license terms and conditions and then click on next. On the next window, I can see this ready to install window where I see that this installation is going to take 5.33 GB of space on my Mac operating system. I'm okay with this. So click on next. And then the installation of the Qt framework will start. Now at this point, you just need to wait for uh, some time until this progress bar reaches to the 100% mark. So just wait for uh, some time. If you want to see more details about what's happening, you can click on this uh, show details and then you will be able to see all the steps what it's doing. So after some time, I can see that my Qt installation is finished and it says completing the Qt setup. Just leave this checkbox as checked, which is going to launch Qt creator and then click on finish and it's going to launch the Qt creator. In the meantime, I can close this uh, installer window. So let me close this first because I don't need this and I can right click on this uh, Qt installer and then click on eject from here. And then when I go to Launchpad, I will not see the Qt creator icon here yet. You can see, you can search for Qt. I can find the Qt maintenance tools, but I don't find the Qt creator option, right? So what you need to do is you need to go to your spotlight search and then search for Qt creator here. And then you will be able to find the Qt creator. I'm going to click on this Qt creator option, which is going to launch the Qt creator. Now, when you right click on this Qt icon on the dock and then click on options here, you will be able to see this uh, option which says show in finder. And when you click on that, you will be able to see the location where Qt is installed. So Qt is installed in my home folder. And then there is this uh, Qt uh, folder created and under the Qt directory in my home folder, I have this Qt creator. So if you want to launch the Qt creator, you can either go to spotlight search and search for Qt creator from here, or 
you can uh, just uh, search for users and then open the users directory and then under users click on your user and then here there will be a directory called qt and then there will be this qt creator application if you want you can also drag this qt creator app to your applications folder so just drag and drop a, this uh, qt creator in your applications folder and then you will be able to see qt creator in your applications when you uh, click on the launch pad but but i don't generally do that because i know the location where qt creator is present and any way i can open the qt using the spotlight search by just searching for qt creator so once qt creator opens let's try to create a very simple project which is a qt uh, widget application to create a new project you can click on uh, create project button here or you can just click on uh, the file option and then click on new project and then from here you can select which type of project you want to create you have the basic uh, qt application project and here you have the option to create widget console quick application or other options you also have the option to develop python related qt widget application you also have the option to create libraries or non qt project also can be created for example c or c++ applications and then you can also use uh, this test project uh, framework and import framework right so for now i'm going to create a very simple qt application so i'm going to select the first option and then click on the qt widget application and then click on choose and here i can give the name to my project for example demo qt and then you can also select uh, this checkbox which says use as default project location for now i don't want to uh, use this location as the default uh, project location which is my home folder i'm going to change this location here i want to create my project under the documents folder so i'm going to open the documents folder and then click on continue and then you can choose the build system i'm going to choose the qmake build system here and then click on continue here you can see the details about your classes which classes will be created by default it creates the main window class and the base class will be q main window and these are the header files so for this demo application i can leave them as default you might want to change these uh, header files and source file names when you want to create a real qt application click on continue here you can also create some translation files for now i don't want to do that but uh, in your application you might want to do that so from here you can uh, create a uh, translation file for your language for example if i want i can choose english from here for different uh, nations you can see english is available for so many dis different nations i'm going to choose uh, english uk for example and then you can see this translation file will be created here click on continue here you can uh, select the kit selection so here i only have uh, one kit which is 6.6.1 i'm going to leave it as default and then click on uh, continue and then at last i have this project management where i can select the uh, version control like git for now i don't want to do this so i'm going to leave it as none and then click on done so once i click on done my project is created and you can see uh, so many files uh, under my project so let's go through them one by one so first file is demo qt.pro here all the project related information is available so which version of qt i'm using which c++ version uh, is this and then what are the source files and the header files i'm using and then there will be also a qt design file and also translation related information is given here in your header files you will see main.window.h uh, in your uh, source file you have the main.cpp which is the main entry point of your application and then you have the main window.cpp uh, which is the window file 
under forms you have this uh, main window.ui where you can design your Qt application so I'm going to click on this and it's going to open this kind of designer from here I can uh, select components like push button or labels and then uh, drag and drop into my uh, design area here so for example I want to select this uh, push button I'm going to drag and drop it in the design area I can also change its properties like the name or text uh, from this uh, section here so you can see the object name is push button I'm going to leave it as default but you can change it also you can change the text uh, so for example I want to display click me here I can do that and then let me also add a label so I can search for components like uh, I want to add a label so I'm going to search for label and then drag and drop into my design area I can also remove the text which is text label the name of this uh, widget is label so object name is very important you need to remember or you can view the object name from here in your production environment you might want to give the different object name to each and every widget so when I scroll down I want to just uh, change the text here and then I want to make it empty now what I want to do here is when I click on the click me button I want to display some text in the label so for that I'm going to select uh, push me button right click here and then click on go to slot and here you can see different slots I'm going to select the clicked slot which is the first option and then click on OK which is going to redirect me to the main.cpp file here I can write uh, UI and then uh, I'm going to add this pointer and then select my label which I have uh, dragged and dropped so the object name is label for that and then once again I will call a method which is called set text method on this and then I'm going to add the text which will be for example hello world here and then close the double quotes and then end the code with this semicolon once you are done just save your uh, code by pressing command s and then when you want to run your code you have uh, these buttons here first button is for running your application you also have the button for building your application so this hammer button is for building your project so I'm going to click on the hammer button here which is going to uh, give me get this kind of uh, window I'm going to click on save all which is going to start the build process you can see the build process in this progress bar also so you can see uh, build is successful so when I click on this process it's going to open this kind of terminal and then I don't see any errors here so build was successful and then I can run this uh, app by clicking on this run button so when I click on run button it's going to launch this kind of uh, window which is the Qt window and when I click on click me it prints hello world on the label so everything is working fine and this is how you can download and install Qt with Qt Creator on your Mac operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.